Alright everybody, we're back with Ratchet and Clank, and now we're off to Planet Railguard to participate in the hoverboard races. Alright. Not bad, not bad. I forget, there's quite a few planets and uh, quite a lot of depth and... Um, what's, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Depth and content to this game, so it's gonna be a while. I forgot, I've been, now that I've been playing it a little bit, I realize, oh, yeah, the original was a bit bigger than I thought. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go with this side first, and use the Hydro Displacer. Uh, if I fall in the water, uh, forgive me, cause, <laughs> whoops. Oh, I didn't know that, whenever you switch planets, you gain full health, cause I was missing two before. Then land here, hiya! Swing shot, I love that freaking thing. Whoosh. Yeah, this game is a bit bigger than I remember, so it's gonna be a while. But man, when I complete it, that's gonna be great. And I mean, you know, part of it is, like, I might come back years later and, like, like, play it. Oh, wait. Ah, it's not on the thingy. So, do I have to just select it? Hydro Displacer. So yeah, I gotta, I gotta select it. Unless I want to put it on my quick select, which uh, I'm gonna wind up with just my weapons on the quick select, cause that's, that's just crazy. Uh, also, I'm not gonna go down there for the bolts. I don't feel like it's that necessary. Owie. I guess you actually didn't need the hydro displ uh, displacer for that section. I think it's just so that you can test it out, see what it's really all about. Oh, also you have to have it so that you can take out. Wasn't there supposed to be an enemy down here? Interesting. I thought there was supposed to be an enemy down there, and then you had to, you know, displace the water, take him out, then put the water back in order to get to the next section, but... I don't know, I guess not. I know there's some enemies in some of the sections. Got him. Now I gotta take a... keep a lookout. Still don't see any enemies. Then I go down here. Ah, yes. I have to use the Hydro Displacer so that I can take the water out, break those grates, then put the water back in. Got him. I can't remember if you can break these pipes. Can I break these pipes? Uh, apparently not. Are they steps to anything? No? Okay, now I can break this uh, grate here. Wham. Now I gotta put the water back in. <laughs> I mean, it's not annoying. It's fine. <laughs> okay. And up top. Hydro Displacer. Put the water back in. It's kind of funny because the animation with the, uh, the uh, like the Displacer, how it, like, how it, uh, swells up after you take the water out and then it shrinks down after you put the water back in. It kind of leads to the idea that, like, oh, I'm sucking up all the water, but that's, like, hundreds of gallons there, and there's no way that little gadget can hold that, so that's, that's funny. <laughs> that's odd. Hang on, I gotta wait for the waves to... There we go. Okay. You gotta time your jump. Yay! I liked, um... Back in the day, I guess I had some sort of tool that did it. Maybe it was in a replay. Um, I guess it was a gadget. Once I broke all of these uh, boxes for the bolts, um, instead of actually going back for them and running this circle again, I would break them, and then there was that gadget that magnetized the bolts to you, and I would slide down this, and all of the bolts would just follow me at once. And it was super cool. I'm pretty sure. Oh, this section. Oh, God. I remember. Oh, God. This might take me a couple tries. I remember it was really difficult in the original. Uh, or maybe it was the remake. I gotta get as far ahead of the water as I can. Ignore these guys. Don't miss the grab. There we go. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Down. Oh, man. This is the part. Okay. Oh, well, I'm, I'm far ahead. I don't know. There's more to it. There's more to it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
Because the challenge is, if you don't do it quick enough, Ratchet's gonna go under the deep end. Oh god. Okay, uh, oh boy. It would be really great if I had the hover pack right now or the, the... Oh gosh, get right to the surface. Running out of air. Come on, there we go. Yes, I made it. First try. Woo! Okay, that's way harder on the remake. Uh, for some reason, the, um, the oxygen depletion is a, a bit faster on there, I think. I don't know. That was close. But, yeah, not that bad. Hey, hey, hey! Press conference is over! Captain Quark don't want no more reporters bugging him in his trailer! Oh, you see, my friend and I need to speak to the captain about a matter of galactic security. You mean you and your walking camera? You paparazzi make me sick, now beat it! But sir, I'm sure the Captain Quark will understand once we- Now, now, save it. I know how it works. You convince me to let you in, you snap a picture of the Captain in his underpants, underpants. then you sell a picture to the info tabloid for a million volts! You've got it all wrong! Meanwhile, I'm stuck here making six volts an hour, and I have to listen to a lecture from that cheapskate Quark! So you don't get in unless I get a kickback. In advance. Nice. You see how it works. You grease the hinges, the door opens. Captain Quark? What's that? It's Ratchet and Clank, Captain. You know, from the hub. Oh, yes, yes, I know who you are. You do? Yes, and thank the galaxy you found me. Huh? There's an awful plot being hatched to destroy our planets. Ratchet, he knows. Great. Does that mean we can go hoverboarding now? My friends, we're all in grave danger. And I believe that together, we can put a stop to this madness. Together? You mean you want our help? Look, Ratchet, I've been keeping an eye on you. I've never seen anyone with such raw talent. You are a true hero in the making. Really? You mean I could be famous? Oh, absolutely. Oh, here, take this. What makes one man toil in obscurity while another becomes a hero? Is it strength, compassion, determination, or just pure blind luck? Wise men through the ages have struggled with that very question, but Captain Quark knows the secret. That's why he's been able to defeat more despots, rescue more damsels in distress, and save more civilizations than any other hero in the galaxy. Now is your opportunity to see if you've got the stuff heroes are made of. This infobot contains coordinates to Quark's secret base. Can you quickly conquer Quark's killer cannonade of confounded contraptions? Can you quickly quark? Can can you quarkly quit? Oh, just make your way through the defenses to the center of the base. Prove yourself. Learn the secret and earn your place in galactic history. Consult your doctor before attempting any strenuous exercise. Not responsible for death or dismemberment. Your results may vary. Meet me at. <coughs> Uh, meet me at my headquarters. Hey, Captain Ratchet. What do you think? We won't fail you, sir. We promise. I love it. I love it. I completely forgot about that planet and that course. Uh, um, funny enough, I think they replaced the enemy on Realgar, like that uh, alien queen. They replaced it. Uh, they replaced it with the Blargian Snaggle Beast that um, Captain Quark uses to try to KO Ratchet. Um, so, so it's, it's weird, they, they mesh it all up, it's all different. But, I guess it's not bad. It's alright. Alright, uh, Glove of Doom? Whenever you boys are ready, get him. Can't remember what's back here, I think it's towards the hoverboard races? I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, that side's locked, so that's a shortcut, okay. Oh man, I could have made that so much easier. Look at this. I could have gone through that path, pressed that button, and then, oh no, then this side would have been locked. So I guess you can't make it that easy. Still cool though. Now we can go back to the start, and I guess it's the hoverboard races now. To the ship! Love it. And this episode isn't running on long so far because, uh, I haven't had to try all those different combinations with the Trespasser. I, I freaking love it. It's going to be great. Because uh, I, I want to go through all of the Ratchet and Clank games. Well, not all of them. You can't go through all of them. But the original three that I played when I was a kid. Slash teenager. 
New weapon. I got some great bargains for you today. Oh, the mind glove. I completely forgot about that one. I completely for didn't realize that I couldn't afford it. How much is it? Seven thousand, seven five. Huh? Oh, I can't afford it because I had to get, uh, pay off that guard. Oh well. Uh, time to grind some bolts. Pun intended. Intend your puns, you cowards. There we go. There we go. Boop. Oh. Uh. Uh. Oh. oh God. Man. I panicked. There we go. <laughs> I remember uh, fighting against those tanks in the remake was actually pretty fun because I think uh, I got to a part where you have this uh, gadget where you can make inanimate objects dance and I could make the tanks dance. And I, <laughs> I went I, <laughs> I went way too hard on the excitement on that one, but it was really fun because it was the first time I had ever seen something like that. Uh, I hate to leave that I hate to leave behind my minions of doom. My minions of doom, look at them. Over there just bouncing around, oh no. I can't watch. They're gonna explode. Okay, so I'm gonna place these guys out here, open this gate, and then these guys are coming. At, gonna come out and boom. Oh wow, okay. There we go, there was one left. Didn't, I didn't expect that. Uh, was there a gold bolt around here? No, okay. I remember, again, growing up with this game, man, I went everywhere, I explored everything. I think the pyro pyro tractor is struggling against these guys, and then of course they split. They're like the slimes in Minecraft, only much more effective, because even the smaller ones can deal damage to you. Which is the way I feel like it should have been done. But if that were done that way, we wouldn't have Jerry the slime, and you wouldn't be able to keep a slime as a pet. So that's kind of nice. Actually, I bet you could keep them as a pet in Minecraft, even if they did deal damage to you, because all you gotta do is cage them. All you gotta do is Nicholas cage them. Haha! <laughs> Pun. Terrible. Terrible. Sweet. Bridge building! Now, what's the most effective way to deal with this situation? Um, gosh, I don't remember quite that many being over there. Oh! Maybe I can taunt them. Bomb glove. Okay, that is highly effective. Highly effective. Oh, I should have I should have lured him over to me and then set off the taunt tree. Nice. So they do give you a good reason to use the taunter. I completely forgot about that. Let's see, let's try it again. Alright, so it only takes a second to get him. Come on, there you go. Good lord. The blaster goes through a lot of ammo because it takes a minute to, like, um, target. Not quite entirely accurate, but it's getting there. Alright, since I have full ball, since I have full, uh, glove of doom ammo, I'm gonna set out one or two of those and then press the button. And the one over here. And the one over here. And now we're gonna press the button. Get them, boys! Keep getting them, boys! Where are you, boys? Oh boy. Ammo. Got him. <laughs> ah, there's always gonna be a few left over, I think, but it's worth it. <laughs> I love the Club of Doom. Frickin' love it. Me and my minions of doom conquering the Ratchet and Clank universe. Just like old times. And to the hoverboard. Actually, no, there's a couple more sections. That's right, downtown. Thought we were going to the hoverboard races already. Okay, these guys should be easy enough to deal with. Let's see. Now ah, let's just go. Glove of Doom! Get him, boys! Interesting. Got him. More Glove of Doom! 
As a matter of fact, I believe this is the planet uh, that you get the uh, rhino on. <laughs> believe. I know this is the planet you get the rhino on. Hang on. I gotta wait for this thing. Uh, is it a gold bolt or... No, I think it's just ammo. Ammo and stuff. Hiya! Might have been a gold bolt on the remake. Who knows? Was I able to... Hmm. I think I can take... No? No? Okay. Huh. <laughs> I've played so many iterations of these games, I'm getting all the different secrets mixed up. Oh, Lord. Because if I remember correctly, one of the, uh... Later on, Ratchet and Clank games comes back to this planet. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe not. Maybe not. Hey, look! Wait, wait. Before I do, I should probably take care of this guy. Oh, no. You can't reach me. Whatever will you do? Nice. Sounds nice, too, doesn't it? Okay. Glove of Doom. Put that out there. Then press the button. Nice. Got him. And cutscene. Wait for it. Now. Oh. Well, I guess we'll go up here then. Some Glove of Doom ammo. No gold bolts. Okay, just checking. Just checking. Wait, no, I want to do the side. Yeah! Dang it. Well, now I gotta do it. Now I gotta do the thing. Hang on. I used to do it. Well, okay, I didn't actually do this, but now I want to do it. Rhino for your robot. Trade you. Well, okay. Ratchet. I'm kidding. Sorry, he's not for sale. What's a rhino, anyway? Rip you a new one. What did you just say to me? R-Y-N-O. Rip you a new one. Why, that's the most powerful missile launcher in the galaxy. I know it's worth a lot of bolts. He must have stolen it from the Blarg. Stolen? Look, trash can. Did I say anything about it being hot? You better watch your mouth or I'll... Wait, don't tell me. Rip you a new one. I love it. 150,000 bolts. So that's what it originally cost. It doesn't seem so bad now. At least not once I bought everything else. You actually don't need the Rhino to complete the uh, the game. Uh, you can do the final boss fight without the Rhino, but it is not easy. Uh, did I get... I think I have enough bolts for the uh, Mind Glove now. I got some great bargains for you today. Got him. I love the punch. That's cool. Let's see now. Mind gloves. Oh. How can, how many can you put out before they start exploding? Okay, so well, I didn't I didn't count. I'm an idiot. Whatever. We'll 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 figure it out later. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Um they also removed that scene from the game. And I remember me and my friends in uh, high school high school would like Always make fun of the whole rip you a new one, and Ratchet's like, what did you just call me? I remember that. That was really nice. It was a running joke, like a gag between us. And I really, I... <laughs> it brings back memories, man. It brings back memories. Damn it. Damn it. Uh-oh. It's gonna be awesome. Nope. Not today. Coming towards a really fun boss fight. I think against the uh, Blargian Snaggle Beast. So that's gonna be fun. I finally got to fight the alien queen again. I also like the little subtle details you'll notice whenever Ratchet gets close to an enemy and he knows he knows there's enemies down there. You'll notice he looks down into the pit because he's looking at the enemies like, uh oh, bad guys down there. Uh, let's see, bomb glove. Or maybe the mind glove is more effective for this section. Time to find out. Now I actually have enough stuff in this section where it's like uh, useful to actually start putting my weapons here as opposed to the gadgets. So, okay, so I think I have all of my weapons now. And then this one will just be empty? Nah. Exit. Okay, so we're on the mind glove. Let's see what it do. It's supposed to like trigger and then go towards enemies, right? seem to make much sense. It's just immediately exploding. Let's try it down here. 
Well, come on. There it goes. Yeah, it's supposed to levitate towards them. Okay, well, you gotta kind of lure him into it. Oh, I know what I should have done. This is great for the taunter. Running low on that ammo already, though. Plus, I don't know if it's such a great idea. Oh, he almost got me. I don't know if it's such a great idea against enemies that multiply. Because it only deals one damage to each of them. But watch this. I'm gonna let all these guys loose. One, two, three, four, five. I bet it's ten. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so it's eight. That was fun. <laughs> Sweet. And of course you could have used the uh, Minions of Doom as well from the Glove of Doom, but that was fun too. I didn't really get to see it though. I had to run around in circles. Collecting these bolts. Oh wow, I'm actually really low now. I'm under I'm under 2000 for the first time in ever. <laughs> Click. Sweet. Hydro displacer? I'm not sure. Can't remember the section. Nope, it's a puzzle. If I complete the puzzle uh, properly, I can get a gold bolt from this section. Also, I need to be careful these guys are about to come at. Me. All right. Got gotcha. you. Oh, they're resistant to fire. Of course they would be. They're wearing suits. Pyro gun. Oh, oh. Got him. You'll never get me. Got him. Oh lord. I accidentally clicked the uh, recenter camera button. It goes over there. I can't remember if I take damage from hitting these red lasers, so I'm going to choose not to do that. Let's see now. Tank up there. Glove of Doom. I think there's a button outside of here. Yes. And I get back into the mage. Uh, maze. Can't get to me. Um, actually, I completely forgot. I don't think you can... I don't think there's a pattern for the buttons that allows you to, um... Get to that... What was it? Get to that gold bolt. I think you have to go on top of these, uh... The platforms. Okay. Those guys are taken care of. Let's release some more. This way. And then forward? I thought so. Okay, okay. So how do I get these other buttons? Ah, that's how. Gotta use this button. Nay, nay. Uh-oh. What was that? Oh, gosh. I just sort I just triggered something automatically. Okay. Can I throw it from up here? Yes, yes I can. Uh hang on. I got an idea. This will be fun. Wait, not yet, not yet. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. I don't remember that being a thing. Satisfying. <laughs> okay. And then I think this one opens the other one, and then... Uh, ah, that one's broken. Yeah. That's why it lets you know you gotta go on top. So now this thing is fully completed. But there's a way I can get on top of the actual maze. If I'm careful enough. Also, I want to ride ride this thing, and then but not let the tank hit. So drop that there and get both of the tanks. Wait again. Oops. Sorry, guys. Didn't realize the enemies were done. So one glove of doom is enough for that. I'll try to remember that. So now I got to get on top of this thing. Ah, there, that's how you do it. Come on. Okay, ready, steady, steady, go. 
secrets. Okay. And I think I could just go straight to it as long as I don't fall. There's no real, like, pattern you have to go. As long as I don't fall. Skip to the part where I'm doing that again. God dang it. Hey, boys. Oh, no, I wanted to... Oh, well. I wanted to do the, um, the side jump. Nice. Got him. Gold bolt acquired. Love it. It's very satisfying, you know, just to be able to do that like back in the old days. And some bolts I missed. And now we're good. Now I can just run to the next section. Alrighty, and here we are. Gold bolt acquired. Puzzle completed. Next section coming up. Uh, I can't remember what's in it though, so it's actually kind of funny, like I still vaguely remember pretty much everything, but bits and snippets now, since I've been through so many parts. Oh, we're completed. It's, it's, it's done. Welcome to the Hovercon Intergalactic Hoverboard Competition. Captain Quark's giving away a brand new Platinum Zoomerator to the winner of this competition. A Platinum Zoomerator. Perhaps that will be the proof of your accomplishments that Skid's agent requires. Wait. Do you guys mean Skid McMarks? Yeah, Skid couldn't make it. So we're here to, you know, fill in for him. Guess we'll see about that. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're here to fill in for him. How did they ever get off that planet? I can't remember. Did it did we get a ship for him or something? I can't remember. Um, and what was he going to give me? He I guess he had like an info bot, but he wants that, he wants the prize from the hoverboard competition. But they did manage to get off that planet, right? I can't remember. Like, if they're not in this race, they must still be stuck there. Hmm, very odd. Nice, got him. Okay, I guess it's time for the hoverboard races. Uh, crud, I forgot those ones. Oh well, it's worth it. Bomb glove. And of course you can... Oh, what the heck? Oh, I gotta remember that that right trigger is very sensitive. That's why I keep doing that. Uh, let's see, is that everything? I think that's everything. That's where I came from. That's... Yeah, that's everything. Time for the hoverboard race. Ninja race. Oh lord, it just starts right off? Okay. I haven't done this in a few years. I know you can do tricks and get all the things, but... Oh, God, I'm so rusty. Oh, God, so rusty. Oh, man. Very rusty. God dang it. Okay. It, j it didn't give me any time to learn. It just starts it right off. Jeez, man. All right. Uh, how do I jump and do my tricks? Oh, God. There's the tricks. Okay, that is that is how you do it. Oh, man. This is going to take a couple of tries. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. Alright, alright. <laughs> First one's free. There we go. Not a accumulating any oh god dang this is tougher than I remember but I'm also really cruddy at this game now <laughs> also I'm obsessed with the bolts I really I, I cannot catch up there's no way I'm catching these guys oh my god uh, just cut the episode to where we're actually good at this oh Jesus Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> I also like how um, they didn't have a lot of, you know, they, they had animation bud budget and all that, but they couldn't, like, spring it on every single... Oh, man, I'm way better now. <laughs> all I needed was a, a quick once-over. Um, oh, man, it's going to be tough. I did all that without making any mistakes, and it was still right behind me. Uh, I'm not going to bother with the tricks. Uh, I tried tricks earlier, 
It didn't look like I was getting any kind of boost, so I'm not going to bother with him. I'm just going to try to stay in the lead. And I mistimed that jump. I'm going to go for the low path this time. Okay, we got it, we got it. Oh, we're in trouble. Nope. Dang, you got me. You gotta, pretty, you gotta be pretty good on all these jumps in order to get this. But as long as I don't make any major mistakes, I should be able to stay in the lead. There's a specific path that you can take in order to get the uh, achievement, even on this game, for beating a certain time. It's like even faster than gold. But um, I don't think I was ever even able to get it, even on the original edition of this game. You have to stay boosted the entire time, and you can't miss a single jump boost. Not one. Not, you, you can't miss a single jump boost, you can't hit any TNT, it's ridiculous. And there's another section that has uh, hoverboard races in it as well on Hi a different folks, part. folks, Captain Quark here. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce this year's Hovercon Intergalactic Champions. Let's give it up for newcomers. Ratchet and Clank. Hey, look. That's us! Today's winners will take home a brand new professional grade Model T-15 Platinum Zoomerator. Manufactured by Gadgetron, this hoverboard drive delivers more lift, speed, and maneuverability than any other anti-grab device on the market! Well, folks, that's all the time we have. Tonight, remember to set your info bots to the Quark Classic Channel for tonight's episode of Dogfight Over Death Canyon, starring yours truly. Thank you, and have a Quarktastic day! Nice. <clears throat> Best time was 140. I'm not even gonna worry about the good times. Like the like the the times for the races. Not even gonna worry about those. Uh, wait, I got the Zoomerator, and oh, um, I didn't get an info bot for it, but Captain Court told us about his secret base. That's my next destination. Because I was wondering, wait a minute, where's the info bot for the next planet? But there is no info bot uh, related to it. It's um, Captain Quark told us about this uh, secret base, so I guess I'm gonna go run that trial real quick. Uh, let's see now. Yep, there it is, Umbrus. Quark's HQ Umbrus. Sweet. I guess this is a. Uh, I guess this is a good opportunity to. Use it. Yeah. I guess this is a good opportunity to see whether or not I can trust the autosave feature in this game. I don't know if I want to trust it. I mean, I could trust it on the original PS. It's good. It's good. I can trust it. I'm sure I can trust it. Right. I'm gonna trust it. I can easily beat that planet. Welcome again. to my challenge course. Now is your chance to prove yourself strong and brave, like me. <laughs> Conquer it, and you'll join in my fight against evil. Haven't we done enough already? What? I can't hear you. I said, haven't we done? Sorry, still having trouble. Tell me later. Later? We might be dead by then. What? All right, Clank, let's get going. I love it. I love it. Just everything's better. They even... I don't even know if this planet is in the... Like, well, they couldn't include everything in the remake because they're trying to do all three games. Um, or at least the first three, I think. Or the first two. I don't know what they were doing. But gosh, man, I'm so glad to have the original back. Oh, it's great. And I didn't have to buy it. It's on an emulator, so it was free. <laughs> Anyway, I guess I'll have to include that cutscene in the next episode that's related to this planet. So, um, that's all the time I... wait. I don't, I'm not sure how I'm going to cut this. Oh well. Um, in the next video, we'll be on this planet, so uh, enjoy that. Well, uh, you know, it's going to be fun. We're going to have fun. It's going to be fun.
with